Hi, everyone. Thank you to all of you for attending this AXBO session. My name is Hervé. I am sales manager for AXBO Photonic. Today, I will introduce shortly our Photonic solutions for one of our key markets, which is related to the space activity. As we all know, we are observing since a decade a boom in the space market. Photonic subsystem systems and components are found in an increasing number of space applications. Most of these applications rely to the Earth's observation programs, the telecommunication, or the satellite or launcher navigation. As Isa quoted, the photonics components and subsystems are expected to make an impact in the future spacecraft engineering. They are replacing or enhancing conventional electrical approaches in the fields of digital and RF telecommunication payloads, sensors, micro lighters, and spectrometers by reducing, reducing the size, weight, power, or performance of the systems they replace. In IxBlue, we are manufacturing these photonics components and subsystems dedicated to a space use. We do optical radar fibers, lithium nanobate optical modulators, optical gyroscopes, and as you will see, also telecommunication transceivers. In this next slide, I will introduce our key product, technologies, and heritage in this space market. To talk about IxBlue in space, we have to start talking of our fiber optic gyroscope product experience. The FOG is a device that is very sensitive to the rotation, and it is used for navigation and precision positioning. The FOG is optically based on two electro-optical phase modulators connected to a fiber optical coil. Axblue leverages 30 years of inertial navigation experience on various markets, including the offshore, defense, geosciences, and space industries. We have a 20 years space experience with a successful integration of our product into more than 25 satellites and flight time of over 2 million hours in orbit. Our, ex our experience with Axblue Fox being deployed in space opened the way to supply space-grade components, such as passive and doped fibers, as well as the electro-optical phase and amplitude modulators. With 15 years of experience, we are now able to propose more than 10 space-grade fibers from stock with granted low radiation induced attenuation with a confirmed measurement on each of the new fiber platform. Axblue Photonics has shipped more than a thousand kilometers of space fibers either for space gyroscope or telecommunication space amplifier. On the active fibers, such as Airbium, Airbium and Airbium White Airbium, we guarantee a radiation induced gain radiation which is unique for the market and a key parameter for long space mission. About our electro-optical modulators offer, Axbu Photonics is present in space through its family of optical modulators used in laser, metrology, sensing, and high-speed communications. We supply 850 nanometer, 1064 nanometer, and 1550 nanometer amplitude and phase modulators as breadboard, engineering, qualification, and flight models. After 10 years of experience, and since the first program managed with the CNES, the French Space Agency, Iceblue Photonics was involved in more than 20 projects for which we supply more than 200 modulators for different flying users worldwide, either for big players or space agencies, and for either LEO or GEO satellites, and also ESS. To be more accurate on the fibers offer, this star represents our fibers product portfolio and the ones available for space application uses. We have a very wide range of cuts fiber solutions for lasers, sensors, and amplifiers manufacturers. All fibers are processed in house from the fiber preform to fiber drone and characterization. We offer all kinds of doping materials, ranging from standard white erbium, erbium, erbium white erbium, but also 
neodymium, phosphorus, and tulium and holmium for two microns fibers. Fibers doped using whiterbium, erbium, and erbium whiterbium are already available as phase grade versions. These fibers are identified from these diagrams given in this slide with the logo satellite green around it. As well, the other neodymium and two micron fibers can be space qualified, but would require some development. As far as the electro-optical modulators are concerned, Icebrew Photonics is offering the widest cost modulators choice. This large product choice is also true for the flight model. I'm talking about the FM modulators. Because Icebrew is mastering both titanium in diffusion and annealed proton exchange processes, we are capable to deliver optical phase and amplitude modulators from 760 nanometer to more than two microns. Both of these technologies are used to produce space grade X cut phase and amplitude modulators. Today, Icebrew Photonics is TRL9 or two. TRL8 for near infrared wavelengths and telecommunication bands. These modulators are coming with a specific optical and electro optical design in order to offer very low insertion loss, high extinction ratio, high polarization extinction ratio, low VPI, and adapted electro optical bandwidth. Phase and RP2 modulators are proposed, both coming with a X cut crystal orientation for exceptional stable operation and behavior. Finally, IQ modulator is under development for space. From devices to transceivers. As you may know, Icebrew is involved in many key European projects to develop transmitter and receivers modules. One is called Feed Optical Link for Constellation, the FOLK project. For FOLK, we are developing these compact combos for the transmitter and the receiver sides. The TX is a compact optical channel emitter, the OCE, supplying a NRZ or DPSK modulated signal up to 25 gigabit. The OCE is a combo which embeds the laser source, the modulator, and its, its matching RF amplifier. The first unit is targeted to be in space for 2022 after its qualification. As well, the full transceiver is also being developed. This time, the laser communication equipment device is a WDMTX and an RX, including three OCE and the three matching RX composed of our own LONOX amplifier, the Wavelands DMUX, as well as the photo receivers and some electronics. Finally, I will conclude this presentation by the qualification plan. The following guidelines are intending to define the modulated models involved in the verification process and the selection of the associated model. I took the modulator as an example, but it also relies on the other components and subsystems I introduced earlier. First, the commercial of the shelves, the COTS model, is a commercial and standard modulator. The breadboard, model, the BBM, is an identical modulator to flight hardware except for reliability and quality assurance. It is used for the confirmation of key performances such as optical, electrical, and electro-optical performances, as well as the modulator behavior. The BBM modulators are not intended to be submitted to tests, neither for space operation condition. The qualified model, the QM, and the engineering model, the EM, are modulators that are used for the confirmation of key performances and interface, including unit mounting scheme and thermal characteristics. These modulators are identical to the flight hardware. It is sampled from the flight model lot after screening tests. The QM are hardly tested following full level functional and environmental qualification tests. For this qualification, endurance, mechanical, and radiation tests are realized. The level, the dose, and the duration of these tests and the numbers of QM's samples are discussed with the customers. Finally, 
the flight model, the FM, are the modulators dedicated to fly. These are tested following a relaxed qualification test program. I will supply all these DBM, EM, and FM modulators. As well, ASBLU is adapted its services to the qualification approach. In fact, from the qualification program, we can distinguish two main approaches, the conservative and the realistic approaches. In the case of a conservative approach, a full qualification you respect with the military, Telcordia, and ISROS standards value is conducted on several QM. The test conditions are defined by the mission and the numbers of QM will be tested with an additional margin in comparison with the operating and storage conditions. Also, all the flight models are selected from the modulator batch and they are submitted to relaxed test program. All the produced modulators, the QM and the EFM are produced from a unique production batch. This qualification program involves one year of work and is usually dedicated to long life satellite operation. Another alternative is to reduce the qualification campaign by taking into account the advantage of AXPLU heritage in our previous space project successes. Based on AXPLU experience and background, the number of QN, QM can be reduced and the qualification program can be simplified. This approach serves the new space project when the price and the delivery are key drivers. Thank you for your attention. For any questions, please contact me and use my email address given here in the bottom of this slide. Thank you.